Yin is finally released and I know most of you guys are having a hard time countering him. His mechanics are really unique and he is very versatile in most situations. So we need to form some strategies and adapt to his skill to counter him. Hi guys Kazuki here and in this video we will discuss Yin's counter and how you can easily adapt and survive even inside his ultimate. We will include those heroes that can make any Yin user cry. We will be mainly talking about hero counters and item counters. Starting with the hero counters, we have heroes that have close range advantages. Before engaging Yin, just remember to wisely use your skills cause Yin will surely put you into his domain and that's where your skill will be mostly needed. We can also say that Yin will mostly use his ultimate as a finishing move. Let's get started with the hero counters. And our first hero will be Sun. With the 3 clone ability, he can easily be a great counter against Yin's ultimate and many of the Sun mains know this by now already. Here you can see it's like 3 vs 1 situation where Sun has the upper hand. You can also see it from Yin's perspective. Similarly, we have Jask. Jask is another hero that can counter Yen. He literally goes on immune mode while being inside his ultimate. So we just need to make sure that we save Jask ultimate for using it inside Yin's domain. Here is another perspective. Next, we have Wan Wan. She is one of the most annoying heroes that gives a hard time for Yin. With her passive, she is almost uncatchable and she holds the threat of killing Yin inside his own ultimate. We can also view it from Yin's perspective. The next hero we have is Akai. Yin user might think they will be able to take down a tank with them but that would be just a dream because Akai can easily counter Yin. He can push back Yin into his barrier and use it for his own advantage. Let me show you in Yin's perspective. As you guys can see, I can't use Yin's skills due to pushback from Akai's ultimate. Argus with his immortality ultimate can turn the battle upside and can escape from dying inside Yin's ultimate. If built properly, he can also eliminate Yin without an issue. The most important thing to notice is the rings. Escaping from the rings will counter half of the Yin's damage. This is what it looks like from Yin's perspective. Yeah. 
Balric is another hero that can have advantage due to his passive. Balric's passive can damage the opponent when damage is being dealt to him. As you can see, he just overpowers against Yin's damage. We also have Alpha, who is deadly hero when they are one versus one. We are not trying to make Yin lose here. We are just telling you guys to see that with proper utilization of abilities and strategies, you can counter Yin even with non-meta heroes. You can also notice that Yin is really weak against heroes that can dash. Before going to build counters, we suggest you to join our giveaway of 20 epic skins on 900k subscribers and we have only 8k subs more to go. To join, you just need to like the video, subscribe to our channel and comment down your favorite Yin counter. Moving down to build counters, first and foremost, we have the legendary defense item Anticurus. This item is a great counter against heroes that can exert massive damage with its skills. And Yin's all abilities are skill based damage. Anticurious passive will reduce Yin physical attack by 8% that can increase up to 24%. Next will be the item Brute Force Breastplate. If you are using tank, you can choose to combine this item with Anticurus when going up against Yen. I would highly recommend you to use these two items if you are using tanks. The next item that can make any Yen user annoyed will be Winter Truncheon. Yen mostly uses ultimate to secure and eliminate the mark target and as his ultimate lasts only for 8 seconds, you can activate this item's active passive and go immune. Just remember one thing to time this ability right. You should always assume that your opponent player can also play smart as you do. Wind of Nature is another item that can be very useful if you are an MM user. It can make you go immune from physical attacks for 2 seconds and unlike Winter Truncheon, you can keep moving and attacking while the Wind Chant effect is active. For marksmen with high lifesteal and damage ability, this item gives you a great advantage against Yin. Another very useful item to counter Yin is Immortality. This item removes the possibility of Yin to finish you inside his ultimate. This is because Yin will mostly need the whole duration of his ultimate to finish you off and with Immortality, that one time elimination will not be enough. This time I was killed but in real battle scenario, we will have our teams to assist us too. So that was it from this video. I hope this was helpful for you guys to understand and counter Yin. Do subscribe to us if you like the content as we put a lot of research and effort while making these videos. Thank you for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.